Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Tony, and I have to lose weight, and I'm one month and one day post-thyroidectomy. Thyroid surgery, and the results are in. Was it cancerous? Do I have enough thyroid hormone in me? What's going on with my blood pressure and my cholesterol? Uh, all will be revealed. You can even have a peek at the scar. Uh, yeah, here we go. I really need to work on an intro. Just got back from the doctor's office. Like I said, one month, one day since my thyroid was removed. I'll show the thyroid at the end of the video again. It's not for the faint of heart. I won't do it here, but let's just say it was a massive, massive thing that was removed from my neck. I immediately felt better. Coming out of the surgery into post-op, could breathe better, could speak better, could eat better, swallow better, I guess, is the eat better part. Um, yeah, what a difference that made. But, but yeah, I came out of that surgery with no more thyroid, which means I have to take a daily thyroid pill. And I heard from a lot of people that getting the correct dosage for your thyroid pill can kind of be a challenge. And so now that I'm one month past my surgery, I've been taking a thyroid pill every day. And the question is, what does my thyroid levels look like? Are they good? Well, the answer to that question is yes. So I've been taking 200 micrograms of levothyroxine uh, every day since my surgery. I gave blood on the 22nd. It's now the 25th. And uh, all the numbers came in right in the green range when you get your test results. They're all green. And my doctor today said, that's great. Uh, let's give it three more months at that same dosage, and then we'll check it again. She told me some symptoms to be on the lookout for. If I experience those symptoms, maybe we have to look at it sooner. But the takeaway is that uh, so far, so good. I have the thyroid level that I need to have. Another thing I've been working on with my doctor is my cholesterol and my high blood pressure. I currently take 50 milligrams of Losartan for high blood pressure, and my blood pressures were great all through the surgery. They've been great when I've checked them at home, and then they've been great in the doctor's office. There was some question whether or not to move up or move down in that medicine, but for right now, uh, 50 milligrams of Losartan. And then I've been working on my cholesterol using medication. And what was exciting is when I got my cholesterol checked this previous time, right before the surgery, I'd seen some improvements. My regular cholesterol went from 196 to 169. My HDL stayed the same, 38 to 38. Triglycerides decreased 285 down to 227. The LDL uh, went down 117 to 97. The non-HDL went down 158 to 131. And unfortunately, my A1C went up a little bit, 5.9 to 6.1. So I'm still in that pre-diabetic range. But the only thing that I take for those numbers is a statin, simvastatin. I don't know what the dosage is, but I take that every night. So overall, the doctor is very pleased with how I'm doing with my blood pressure, how I'm doing with my cholesterol how I'm doing with my blood sugar. Of course, weight loss continues to be a concern. I do have to lose weight. I think we've talked about that before, but she suggested giving the Mediterranean diet a try. And so I think that's what we're going to do. We've been doing some research on the Mediterranean diet. We've also increased our exercise. The doctor was also very positive about the way that my incision point is healing. She's very happy about the numbers for the thyroid, how I feel post thyroid. And so uh, all of those things are going well. And then, of course, the pathology came back from the thyroid. Uh, no cancer. No cancer. No cancer. And look, excitingly, the recovery hasn't been too bad. Certainly, if you follow this channel or the cruising channel, you know that I like to travel. But now it's like one month at home. I've been digging into some of my other hobbies, uh, building Lego and doing a lot of other stuff. We've got a lot of cool stuff going on. But now that this hurdle is being cleared, I'm okay to travel. Uh, I think I might have to book. My next cruise is in July, but I think there might have to be something on the docket before that. Uh, okay, let's let's go over to the maybe unpleasant visuals. I'll show you the, the latest look at my scar. The doctor says it's healing well, that I still have some... Uh, sutures that have to dissolve, but she's really pleased. A lot less swelling than a few months ago. All of the 
you know, there's still some swelling, but everything is progressing well. Apparently this takes a while. And, you know, she reminded me today as I was going, oh, I wish the swelling would go down. She's like, this was major surgery. So uh, a good reminder there. And then uh, here's the thyroid again. If you didn't see it, uh, whoa, uh, there's the thyroid again. And when it comes to my weight, it kind of fluctuated after the surgery. Like there was a time that I was gaining a pound a day at, right after the surgery, which was freaking me out. I think I got all the way up to 389 within the like a week of the surgery. And then it slowly started backing off like half pound at a time. So right now I'm at 383.6 uh, at the doctor's office today. So I've got work to do, but I think I'm through this recovery period. I'm allowed to lift up stuff again and so uh, the journey continues. I do wanna say a big thanks to everybody who has sent positive words of affirmation, people that have commented that I look good and sound good after the surgery. My voice did change. Uh, you know, I've gotten that question, did my voice change? I do feel like it's different, it feels stronger. My mom thinks it sounds younger. Um, I, I don't know, but uh, definitely different not having that big mass laying on my vocal cords and my esophagus. And so, uh, yeah. Uh, that's the update. I uh, hope you guys are doing great out there on your health and weight journey. Hopefully I can encourage you. Uh, you know, I don't have as much interaction with you guys as possibly you do me, but uh, hopefully you guys are taking good care of yourselves. And uh, like I said in previous videos, it's, you know, I I'm not good at staying on top of stuff. And now here I am in my 50s having to deal with stuff. So if you have the opportunity, take care of the stuff when you can and uh, keep at it. But, uh, but thanks, everybody, for watching. My name's Tony. I have to lose weight, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.